We start with our Newsmakers segment and talk about the ACLU, the American Civil Liberties Union in Kansas, with its executive director, Dr. Micah Kubik. Kubik is departing Kansas soon to take on a similar post with the ACLU in Florida. Dr. Kubik, welcome to Ruckus. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So what are the essential civil rights the ACLU defends? So the ACLU has been around for almost 100 years now and defends all of the rights and freedoms that belong to every person in this country under the Constitution. Every citizen in this country? Every person in this country. Every person is protected by the Constitution. Uh, citizens have a different set of rights than non-citizens do under the Constitution, but the Constitution is for everyone. ACLU was founded as a non-partisan organization, am I right? Was founded and still is yeah. what? It is still? It absolutely is still non-partisan and non-political. Uh, we have a point of view, we have a perspective that we seek to pursue. Does that point of view more often than not coincide with the Democratic Party view? I don't think so. And I think if you asked uh, President Obama, who we sued multiple times, he would probably uh, disagree with that proposition, too. Uh, we've sued every single president uh, since we've been founded. I'm pretty darn sure we're going to sue every one of them that comes in the future. Too. And the civil rights that we have, that extends to everyone, regardless of party affiliation oh, absolutely. or no affiliation, absolutely. Democrats, Republicans. Republicans, socialists, communists. Absolutely. Everyone independence, has, has whatever. rights and freedoms in this country, and, and we work with them to protect them. And the them. ACLU historically has defended people that you and I might not think of as the good guys, or That's you right. might think of as the good guy and That's, I don't, or That's vice right. versa. Every, everyone has certain rights in this country, and they deserve to have them protected on, on the basis of their humanity, not on the basis Certainly of their Certainly a famous beliefs. one was the uh, March of the Nazis in uh, was it Skokie, Illinois. That's right. The, a, a town where many Holocaust survivors lived, and yet the ACLU defended the right of the Nazis to gather and to march. That's right. Uh, we have always defended the rights of people to express unpopular opinions, and we have defended the rights of people to express opinions that may, in fact, be popular, but that which we disagree with. Uh, a great example is the work that we do on criminal justice reform, where we work with folks who otherwise uh, don't agree with us on anything. For example, the Koch Industries, the Koch brothers, uh, great partners on criminal <coughs> justice reform, even though there's probably not a whole lot of other uh, ideas that we share. What are some of the key projects the ACLU has undertaken during your tenure? So I think by far the most important one has been the work that we have done on voting rights. Kansas has been on the front lines of the national <laughs> battle for voting rights, of the right of citizens to participate in elections, and passed the single most restrictive law on voter registration that has existed anywhere outside okay, of the that, general process. Okay, that law passed by the Kansas legislature, right. voted for by the governor-elect of right. the state, Laura Kelly, uh, simply said if you're going to go in to register to vote for the first time, you have to prove that you're a citizen of the United States and therefore eligible to vote. Is that right? I would disagree. It, it, what, what was the premise of the... So uh, it was that you had to produce additional documentation and paperwork beyond we, anything that any other state had ever done. So in every well, state, you have to prove your citizenship by signing a it? legal affidavit. But you don't have to produce a document. You can just That's sign... Correct. That's correct. A, a document a saying, yes, I'm a citizen. What if you're not? Is that investigated after you vote? So you're signing a legal affidavit, and if you sign it incorrectly, you are committing perjury but, but who and guilty checks, of a crime. who checks to see if you signed it incorrectly after you've cast your vote? So we know for a fact that voter fraud of that kind is very, we, very How rare. do we know that for a fact? Because we have done uh, decades of investigations about it as a country. Secretary Kobach in Kansas was the only secretary of state in the country to have prosecutorial power. He used every ounce of energy he had to try and root out uh, this sort of fraud and still came up with, uh, I believe, at last tally, nine instances. Well, well that's a pretty Kobach is not the only person in the country who has the opportunity to look at such things, who says oh, sure. there are a lot of votes that are counted that are illegal votes. Lots of people say lots of things. It doesn't make them true. Okay. Uh, you're headed to Florida. What do you expect to encounter there? So I think uh, it is well known that they have voting rights issues in Florida as well. <laughs> the most important one right now is that the state just passed a constitutional amendment to make sure that uh, folks who had been convicted of a crime in the past were eligible to vote again in the future. And now we have to make sure that those 1.4 million citizens uh, who have been given the opportunity to register have their rights to protect it. Anybody who's interested in learning more about the ACLU, how do they do that? They can find us at www.aclukansas.org. Hey, it's a pleasure meeting you. It was fun to banter back and forth with you. Appreciate your time. Thank you very much. I was going to say come back and see us again, but you're leaving the area. I can still come if back. If you come back to town, 
on, come and visit us. All again. right. All right, sir. Thanks. Thank you very much. That is Kansas ACLU Executive Director, Dr. Micah Kubik. Now let's meet the panel and start a ruckus.